folks. Welcome. I am Craig, the Natural Medic. I welcome you here on this channel. We talk about all things outdoors, but we primarily focus right now on hiking and backpacking. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking me out. In today's video, we're going to talk about backpacking food. We all need to eat in the outdoors, so let's get to it. We're going to go clockwise, starting down here in the in the uh, about the six six or seven o'clock position, and talk about how to be a good planner for your food. Now, a lot of us are operating on a weekend schedule or a couple of days off schedule. This is where you should start. Kind of plan out your menu. You can see here I have. Just for example, for a weekend trip, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Somebody getting off work, they're not going to obviously eat on the trail or out in the field these first few meals here, but they're planning on a, having a meal at camp that night when they get to wherever they are going. On the next day, you can see there is a meal plan for breakfast. You could do oatmeal. You could do coffee and a Pop-Tart. Mid-morning snack, as an example, M&M's. Now for lunch, burrito with pepperoni and cheese. We'll go over all these in a little bit more detail a little bit later. For dinner, a dehydrated meal. The next day, which will be the day you're leaving out, is going to be oatmeal, coffee, Pop-Tarts, whatever. Snickers for a snack, and then for lunch, another burrito with tuna fish and cheese or whatever. Then by the time supper rolls around, you're probably back at your vehicle. However many days you have, you can plan accordingly and add to or take away from. And you can add additional meal times, snack times, whatever in there. But I recommend you do something like that to kind of plan out your menu first and foremost. Next thing you want to do. This is a mistake that I made by not doing on my last trip to Caney Creek Wilderness, I did not plan out my days of food. You could take a simple, this is a Ziploc freezer bag, a Ziploc type, it's actually from Walmart. You can write on these things and put the day of the week that you're going to eat it or whatever trip day and so forth. Also, you could use something like, I have an old Home Chef bag, perfect for this. That way you can have your food organized throughout the day. Similar to this, for example. For example, here I have a whole day's worth of food. I've got a piece of pita bread, I've got some pepperoni, I've got uh, a snack here, actually a couple of different snacks, some, some granola, a Cliff Bar and a granola bar. For my evening meal, I have a Nora side and some tuna fish. Easy peasy right there. So if you do that for all of your days, that will help you with your organization. Now you could also use things like these reusable produce bags. And I recommend when you, whatever you use to organize your days that you put it in a, a bigger bag, like a dry bag like this, to try and keep everything dry and organized together. Also, you'll be able to Hang this outside with no worries for temperature, uh, moisture, etc. All you got to do is put a rope on there and you're good to go. Next, um, looking through here, we have a wide variety of different things you can eat. Now, keep in mind, all of these things I'm suggesting are based on you. If you have a special diet, you have, uh, you're on a keto diet or a paleo diet, you're a diabetic, uh, you're a vegan, uh, vegetarian, whatever, you can adjust these to your own specific needs. Anyway, breakfast items, oatmeal, snack. A lot of these are available at your Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, grocery store, depending on where you live. You may have to adapt for that. In the United States, most of here, here is where I'm talking about. Most of the stuff that I have that you're going to see on this was purchased at either uh, Walmart Dollar Tree, uh, Family Dollar, Dollar General, different grocery stores, and so forth. This is all pretty easy stuff to it. Granola, 
Now, as far as meats go, you got a lot of different options for meats. Pepperoni is available in its regular beef variety and also a turkey variety. Tuna fish is available in different flavors and little packets like that, along with chicken. You can also do spam singles, which is just a little slice of spam in a deal right there. Now, as far as snacks go, you got a wide variety of stuff to choose from. You want to try to pack things that are high caloric content, but are not very big. These granola bars definitely are something that you can, you can eat and give you a lot, of, and they're not very bulky or, or heavy. Now, other items you might want to consider, there's some mini bars, which are pumpkin seed and nuts, beef jerky, there's all kinds of cliff bars, dehydrated, or freeze-dried rather, strawberries. All these things are available at your local places for, I think I got most of these different individual items for around a dollar. Not everything, but most everything. Nor sides. You can get these in a variety of flavors and choices. Now, make sure you look on the back, you don't need any milk because you don't want to have to have milk in the back country because you don't necessarily have to have, don't necessarily have, to have that available to you. Okay, so as far as coffee goes in the morning, I'm kind of go, I kind of go different ways. This, this is just a small bag I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and I have a French press on my jet boil, no problem. But you can also do things like an individual pack of coffee. Dessert wise, if you're not going to do, if you want to do something besides a granola bar or a trail mix or something like that, you can do things like pudding. You can do things like fruit cups. Just bear in mind you are carrying all this stuff on your back. So plan accordingly. Now if you want to get a little more fancy, and it, and it can be a little bit more expensive, you can get a variety of different dehydrated meals from Ready Wise. All the Ready Wise ones I have are, are vegan. You can add meat to them if you want to have meat if you're not on a vegan diet. And this one is a spicy Asian noodles. Mac and cheese. And a little bit later, you'll see in the video, you will see me cook this one. I actually cooked it last night and it was pretty good. Added some tuna fish to it, some buffalo spice tuna fish. So you can see I got this on clearance at Walmart for under under six dollars. Not too bad. They have a breakfast variety, which is just like a blueberry muffin kind of deal. And then a high put chili. Also, you can go with the straight mountain house, which are a little more expensive. Most of the ones that I've seen that are this size at, at Walmart, for example. I haven't checked other places. I will be checking this weekend. For the two and a half servings one, you're looking at about nine dollars a piece, which is not terribly bad. If you have something that's too big, if you're going by yourself, you can always split that up. More snacks here, just some snack ideas. Let me move these back over and out of the way so we can see what else we've got here. Snack ideas. Rice cakes. More granola bars. Peanuts. These are some little chewable gummy energy snacks. And you can also take your peanut butter if you're going to go on a long day trip, you may not, you may want to be, a, you may take a uh, big container of Jif or whatever peanut butter you like if you're going to eat peanut butter, which is really good on these rice cakes. You can take these little small ones to go, and that'll last you um, a day or so, depending on how much you use. As far as drinks go, besides coffee, we already talked about hot chocolate is an option. You can also do drink packets and put those inside of your water preferably one you're not going to reuse a lot because it will give you a taste if you use Nalgene or something like that. If you're using a smart water bottle with filtered water of course you could put in some stuff like that. Now as far as your bread on the trail I, in here I have a piece of pita bread uh, just as an example but probably more often than not the cheapest thing to get is tortillas. I prefer these Mission Fajita Grand, Grande which are the kind of medium sized burritos, put a little cheese in there, a little meat, pep pepperoni, tuna, etc. And there you go. For breakfast, going back to that for a second, we have a couple other, other ideas here. Instant oatmeal, nice light and good calories. Hazelnut spread in the form of Nutella. It actually works pretty good to spread onto a tortilla. I know it sounds kind of weird. We also do the same thing with peanut butter. Put it on a tortilla and eat it. And then there you go. Now lastly, here is 
my condiments. I have a bunch of fast food condiments in this little bag right here that are ketchup, salt, pepper, creamer, sugar, etc. You can do that very easily as well. Let's watch some in the field videos about stuff that I've cooked and see how it went. Then I'll see you back here at the end. Okay, y'all. I don't know how good you can see this, but got a lantern down there. Dessert's going to be a sweet and salty granola bar, peanut flavored. Got the spam here and uh, the potatoes. Uh, sorry, that's there we go. Um, some cheese mixed in and then some Nalgene water. Man, lovely. I'm not going to make y'all watch me eat, but uh, I'm going to enjoy this. So handily enough, I have my own little kitchen table right here at my campsite. I'm glad I ordered a head for this. In here, the lovely <laughs> freeze-dried scrambled eggs uh, with bacon. It's pretty good. I got some coffee over here in my little Olar Trail little junkie cup, but it'll work. It's lightweight and it's collapsible. It doesn't have to be pretty. Remember that when you get your gear. It has to be functional for you. It doesn't always have to be so pretty. But what a beautiful view to have breakfast by. What's for lunch? Clay the chest. To make it nice and simple, just took a piece of cheese out of here. This is not labeled, but it's just a pepper jack uh, cheese stick. Had in my pack. I grabbed a little handful of these pepperonis and put it on a Mission Fajita Grande Super Soft Tortilla, which it says on here, product of Mexico. But it's Texas size, so you know, hey, go figure. But anyway, so now all you do is just take this and you roll it up. Voila, little quick little burrito thing. Nice and simple. Now it does say on pepperoni that you refrigerate after opening, but I just opened these. They should be good to go. I do have an ice chest, soft-sided one, back in my truck. So I can put that back in there and they'll still be good to go. And if you're in a cool enough area, the air temperature is cool enough. Right now it's in the 60s. It was in the 40s this morning. No big deal. Shouldn't be a problem with the cheese or the pepperoni for at least a day or so should be good to go quick easy on the go hiking or backpacking meal okay to do one of these meals if you've never done one before you need to open up the bag you reach in here and you get out the oxygen remover packet or oxygen absorber that's what keeps your meals fresh don't eat that toss that away Put it, if you're in the back country, put it in your pack. Then you add your two cups of water. Okay, two cups of water. And our friend Mr. Blue Jay is visiting us again today. Then you wait, you seal it up and you wait 10 to 15 minutes. So I'll see you back in a bit. It's been 15 minutes exactly. Here's the moment of truth. Da da da. Wow. That is pretty good. Good flavor. Now something else to keep in mind. All these ones from ReadyWise are not, are vegan meals only. Do not have any meat or animal products in them. If you are a person that likes to do that, which I am one of those people as well, you would, you would need to add your own meat. Tuna fish, chicken in a packet, spam singles, depending on which meal you're eating, or something of that nature. Now, if you're doing the mountain house, it's already got meat, no problem there. But basically the cooking process is the same. Boil water, put it in the packet, and then you stir it up and wait, usually 10 to 15 minutes, and it's ready to eat right in the pouch. Very handy. Now for me, with a lot of these that are two and a half servings, I would probably split those up and actually get uh, two meals out of each packet. But if I was going with another person, I could do one packet per per me and the other person. 
Okay, I've used the old jet boil again to boil some water in record time. And I'm gonna do some mac and cheese from Ready Wise. It is a vegan meal. I tore it open, I did remove all of the oxygen absorber so that it will start rehydrating. Let's wait 12 to 15 minutes after I stir it and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna add some buffalo tuna in there for extra flavor since this is a vegan meal. Our time is up and the meal has rehydrated. I'm gonna put the tuna fish in there. This is a buffalo tuna mixture. Kind of hard to do one-handed in film, but we're going to make it work. And then we stir it up. And that's all you got to do, guys, to have a wonderful, delicious meal for two in the backcountry. Thanks, Ready Wise. Hey, folks. Thanks so much for sticking with me to the end here. I appreciate your attention. If you are watching this on YouTube and you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it. And it gets it out to a lot of the other users on YouTube and helps the most. If you're listening on the podcast, I will put a link in the show notes so you can watch this video at your leisure and get a visual version of it. Any links in the description, maybe affiliate links, I may gain compensation through those, but it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to buy through these links. I just certainly appreciate it. If you have any comments on the video, please leave them below. I would love for you to subscribe to the channel or to the podcast or both, preferably. Thanks so much again. See you out there on the trail.